going to be on one hip. So you won't be on your booty, you'll just be on one hip. The bottom leg will be bent, the top leg will be extended. Obviously, the more flexible you are, the nicer these lines will look. I'm not super bendy, so that you know, it's not completely extended straight. But as straight as you can on the top. Your hands will be behind you, so you're just kind of starting off just in a position like this. You let your um, legs drop to one side, so you're on one hip. Legs are bent, you take your top one, straighten it, and bring it as close towards your chest as you can. From here, I'm just gonna show you the basic version first. There's a whole bunch of different versions. I can only show you the one that I know, um, but I'll show you the most basic way to do it first, and then I'll show you the one with the little um, leg circle. So to start, the easiest way to learn is to just practice the basic version of taking that top leg up and fanning it over, keeping it completely straight. As you come over to your other hip, you will start to roll onto your booty. So you're on one hip. As the leg comes over, you'll be on your booty. As you start to come to the booty, the leg will start to come down and you'll come onto your other hip. The leg is straight, you'll bend it. The bottom leg is always going to be bent. Okay, so see how top leg is this leg, straight. I fan it up and over, keeping it straight. Other leg is still bent. As I come to my booty position, this is where both legs are sort of in that wide, straight position. From there, the leg that was on top will now start to be the bottom leg as you roll over to your other hip. As it comes to the floor, it'll be in a bent position while the other one lands on it, straight. So let's see that a little faster. Beginning position on one hip, hands behind you, bottom leg bent, top leg straight and close to you as possible. Bring it up and over as it starts to transfer the weight to the booty. Other leg unbends and straightens. Continue coming over to the opposite side. As you do, bottom leg bends, top leg lands straight. If you are flexible enough and you have high heels on, you can of course hit the floor right then to make a heel uh, bang. If not, don't worry about it. Just keep practicing this move slow until you can do it quickly. Okay, so one more time and then we will go over the, the extra little part of this that makes it a little more tricky. So here we go. Top leg straight, bottom leg bent. Bringing that top leg in a fan-like motion over to the other side. Weight transfers to the booty. This leg frees itself up off the floor. As you start to transfer to the other hip, this leg will bend so it can be your bottom leg. This leg will keep coming over until it lands or the foot hits the floor. And then you'll reverse it. Bring the top leg up and over. Same thing, coming onto the booty. At that point, both legs are straight and open. As you continue to transfer to the opposite side, bottom leg bends, top leg lands on it straight. Okay, practice that until it feels really comfortable. When it does, at the point where both legs are open, you're going to circle only the leg that's going to be your bottom leg. So as I'm transferring, this is my top leg, this is going to be my bottom leg as I transfer my weight over. So this is the leg I'm going to circle. So as I come up into that fan position, both legs are open and straight. Before this one starts to come over to the opposite side to land, it's going to make a circle. So I'm just making the circle and continuing as I normally would with the move. Up and over, circle, and over. Up and over, circle, and over. So that top one, the one that gets released from the top, 
as it's coming over, once you're on the booty, we'll make a circle, then land, and as it lands, it bends. That's what makes it a little tricky, because not only are you kind of fan kicking your legs over, transferring weight, you're also trying to remember to keep the top leg straight, bottom leg bent, plus you have that little circle in the middle. So even though it can look a little, so even though it looks easy to watch someone else do it, um, don't get frustrated if it feels a little tricky for a while. Better to learn slow and really get the movement pattern down, then you can speed it up and add a little circle in. One last time from our starting position, coming up, transferring the weight to the booty, both legs are up. The leg that's gonna be on the bottom circles before landing, bending, other one lands. that you can do here, one of them being where both legs are in this position, bring them together, circle, circle, land. I know it's a lot, but that's what I mean. Um, there's about a thousand variations of this move. Looks like this. So bring your knees towards your chest with your legs open, straighten the legs, bring in your quads as much towards your face as you can. Start with one leg, push it forward, using sort of the back of your knee and the back of your ankle to lead. Push it forward so you're scooting your hips to one side. As you get to that most forward position, bend it, bringing it in with the knee. Other leg goes forward. So one will come back. The one that's coming towards you will be bent. The one that's going away from you will be straightened. And you'll keep switching. So the one going forward is always straight. The one coming towards you is always bent and you just keep shifting your weight. The one, the leg that's going forward, that's the hip that should be shifting sort of towards the camera. So the one that's, the leg that's coming behind me, that hip is coming away from the camera while the other one's coming towards it. That's what gives you this sort of exaggerated look. Otherwise, it just looks like this, which is okay too, but to give it that more dramatic look, it's just a matter of shifting your hips side to side. So that's the vagina. 